Have you ever paused to wonder why the universe dances to the rhythms of laws and principles unseen, guiding everything from the orbits of planets to the reactions between the tiniest of molecules? Well, dear viewer, let's embark on a journey together into a realm where the forbidden becomes the fascinating and the unseen laws of chemistry dictate the dance of molecules in a spectacular fashion. Welcome to our exploration of forbidden mechanisms, the Woodward Hoffman rules unveiled. In the grand tapestry of scientific discovery, few threads are as intriguing as the ones leading to the understanding of forbidden reactions in chemistry. Long before the terms orbital symmetry or Woodward Hoffman rules were etched into the annals of science, chemists stumbled upon reactions that defied their understanding. These were processes that, by all accounts, should have occurred with ease but were mysteriously absent. This conundrum set the stage for one of the most groundbreaking revelations in the field of chemistry. At the heart of this story are two remarkable scientists, Robert Burns Woodward and Roald Hoffman. Woodward, already a luminary in organic chemistry for his syntheses of complex natural products, joined forces with Hoffman, a theoretical chemist. Together, they embarked on a journey to decode the mysteries of molecular behavior. Their collaboration would lead to the formulation of rules that predict the outcomes of chemical reactions based on the conservation of orbital symmetry, a concept that was revolutionary at the time. To truly appreciate the Woodward-Hoffman rules, one must first grasp the fundamentals of orbital symmetry. At its core, this concept revolves around the idea that the spatial characteristics of electrons' pathways, or orbitals, must be preserved during a chemical reaction. This principle is pivotal because it determines whether a reaction can proceed through a simple, direct pathway, or if it is forbidden by the laws of symmetry. Orbital symmetry can be a challenging concept to visualize, but imagine, if you will, the electrons within a molecule as dancers, each following their own intricate paths. For a chemical reaction to occur smoothly, these dancers must swap partners in a manner that preserves the overall choreography of the dance. If this harmony is disrupted, the reaction becomes forbidden, blocked by an invisible barrier dictated by the laws of nature. The beauty of the Woodward-Hoffman rules is illustrated in several key reactions within organic chemistry. Take, for example, the Diels-Alder reaction, a cornerstone of synthetic chemistry. Through the lens of the Woodward-Hoffman rules, we can predict the outcome of this reaction with astonishing accuracy, revealing the elegance of nature's underlying principles. The introduction of these rules marked a pivotal moment in chemistry, fundamentally altering our understanding of molecular transformations. No longer were chemists merely observers of the molecular realm. Equipped with the Woodward-Hoffman rules, they became its interpreters, unlocking new synthetic pathways and understanding previously baffling reactions. As with any groundbreaking scientific advancement, the Woodward-Hoffman rules were not without their controversies. Debates raged over the validity of the rules and their implications for long-standing theories. Yet, through rigorous testing and validation, these rules have stood the test of time, demonstrating the power of collaboration and theoretical insight in the advancement of science. Today, the applications of the Woodward-Hoffman rules extend far beyond their original scope. From the development of new materials to the synthesis of life-saving drugs, these principles guide chemists in designing reactions that are both efficient and sustainable, showcasing the profound impact of theoretical chemistry on our everyday lives. In educational settings, the Woodward-Hoffman rules have become a fundamental part of the chemistry curriculum, 
shaping the next generation of scientists. Through lectures, textbooks, and laboratory experiments, students around the world are introduced to these concepts, ensuring that the legacy of Woodward and Hoffman continues to inspire and inform. As we look to the future, the potential for new discoveries and applications inspired by the Woodward-Hoffman rules is boundless. With each passing year, chemists uncover new reactions and pathways, each a testament to the enduring power of these principles. What mysteries of molecular behavior will we unravel next? The possibilities are as vast as chemistry itself. Yet, beyond the boundaries of molecules and reactions, the Woodward-Hoffman rules invite us to reflect on the broader questions of science and philosophy. What does it mean for a process to be forbidden? And what can these molecular laws teach us about the constraints and possibilities of the natural world? Now, dear viewer, I turn to you. What are your thoughts on the delicate balance between the possible and the forbidden in the realm of chemistry. Have you ever encountered a concept that challenged your understanding of the natural world? I encourage you to share your reflections and questions in the comments below. Through the lens of the Woodward Hoffman rules, we gain not only insight into the fabric of chemistry, but also a deeper appreciation for the laws that govern our universe. Thank you, dear viewer, for joining me on this exploration. Until next time, keep wondering, keep questioning, and never stop discovering. Goodbye for now.